Oh, I'm yellow. Okay, no, I kind of look yellow. Hey, hey, welcome back to Disneyland Librarians. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're back, welcome back. So today I will be sharing my self my self-care products that I use right before I go to Disney or the day before I go to Disney. And I usually like would go to Disney on Saturday, which means I would do this on Friday or sometimes even Thursday, depending if like my skin needs it or I feel like my skin needs it. And the first product that I use is Origins Original Skin Re Texturizing Mask with Rose Clay. So this stuff is so good. like. I usually leave it on for five to 10 minutes and then I wash it off. And at, right after that, I use a green tea eye patch, JC. And yeah, like the only downside is like it kind of like slips. So like you need to lay down when you use this. And then lastly, I put on a, the Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. So I put like a little bit because I do not like the smell. The smell is something different. Don't know how to describe it, but like it is very, very different. So I put this on and then I take my jade roller, which I never knew I needed, but if you do not have one, you should totally get a jade roller because when this is cold, like freezing cold, and you like roll it on your face, Oh my god, it feels amazing. Like, I love this thing so much. And then, you know, you roll it this way apparently, I think, from what I saw. And then I usually use this for like my nose and like right under here, and like nose. But, and I also roll this on my neck because it feels just that good. And I also wanted to let you know, I just finished The Kingdom Back by Marie Lu. And I did not like it in the beginning, but then I did. And I suggest that you read it if you have not read it. Because, yeah, like, Maria Lou basically, like, her writing is beautifully written. And also, like, she's just, it's just, it was just so good. Especially toward the end. I will say, like, the beginning did not like it that much. Just because, you know, like, we've heard stories about Faze. Like everybody, like Sarah J Moss is writing books about Faze and it's like, I don't care about it anymore. But she throws in like some historical fiction, which again, I am not a big fan of a historical fiction either, but she throws in some historical fiction and you learn a lot about Mozart, Mozart and you know, like list, like reading about Mozart, I do not know anything, but you know, like Marie Lu did her work, did her research on Mozart, and I learned, like, you know, like he has a sister named Nonarol, funny enough, because she's one of the main characters. And, like, yeah, it was just, like, really interesting and fun to read. And so I would suggest if you have not read it, to go pick it up at your local library. But, like, probably like an ebook or audiobook, obviously, because we're closed. And thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys on Thursday.